Right, so there's loads going on in here. It looks very, very complicated, but, but it isn't really. This whole unit here is the main electronics. It's hidden away, especially from sort of prying little fingers. Um, it's a cassette system, so the idea is that you undo a couple of bolts, that whole system just pulls straight out and disconnects, so it can be worked on on the bench, so you're not having to be inside the droid. It runs on 24 volts, so there's two 22 amp hour 12 volt batteries linked together to give me the 24 volt system that drives the main motors and drives the head. Um, everything's operated here through a, a main central kill switch and we've also got we can disconnect the main motors so when the motors are engaged obviously we can plug them in that engages the motors when that's disconnected the motors are disengaged and that's used for just transporting so you're not pushing the droid around with the motors engaged. Each uh, item on the droid lighting motors everything is controlled via switches separate circuits and those separate circuits are all separately fused. So if anything goes wrong with a minor circuit, the fuse just goes, no problem at all. On the back door here, we've got the compressed uh, gas here that operates the fire extinguisher kind of effect. We've got a water canister, so basically she can defend herself if the uh, eight-year-olds get too um, uh, aggressive. And that the water squirts out of the front and it also squirts out of the back. Um, the main drive system on the top is there's a motor that drives the Lazy Susan which actually drives the head around and then all the electronics are transmitted up through a central uh, slip ring so the head can spin 360 degrees without any issues at all, no wires are going to get tangled up and that, that can just spin freely with no issues whatsoever. Affirmative.